continuing the series let's shoot for the third question of the weekly contest 280 which is removing minimum number of magic beans here in this question we are given an array of positive integers and we need to remove any number of beans from each bag such that the number of beans in the remaining non-empty bags become equal we need to identify the minimum number of magic beans that you have to remove in order to achieve such a configuration here in this example they have provided us with four bags four one six five and the best possible configuration is generated if we make the second bag empty and the rest of the three bags are maintained with the value four so in totality how many operations for removal do you need to perform one for removing this two from removing from six that will lead to four and the last one would be one being removing from the fourth bag the configuration will be updated to 4044 as you can see all the non-empty bags have equal value which is four and one bag is empty let's quickly move on to the ppt where i'll talk about how to go about the approach let's get started minimum removing minimum number of magic beans lead code 2171 it's a medium level question on lead code and i totally feel the same the crux of the problem lies in building the understanding which is remove any number of beans from each pack such that the number of beans in the remaining non-empty bags become equal this is very important we no need to make sure that the non-empty bags will ha should have the equal value let's consider the case where we are given four bags a b c and d and in the first go what we are going to do we'll sort those together up such that a is less than b b is less than c c is less than d now let's try and analyze what all options do we have let's try to make all the four equal to a first possibility is this so what we are targeting we are making all the bags equal to a now let's try and calculate the total cost associated for making such a configuration and that would be equal to since the current bean value is a no additional cost is needed here the value is b that simply means you have to remove b minus a beans from this bag so the cost associated would be equal to b minus a plus you have to make this bag point to a beans as a result of which you have to remove c minus a beans from this bag the third one let's proceed ahead next we have is d from d again you have to remove d minus a beans in order to make it point to a in totality how what is the final value it comes out to be b plus c plus d minus 3a and how can this be represented let's add a on both the sides and subtract a so let's add a let's subtract a what do we get we get total sum minus 4a so one possibility is you find out the total and you subtract four times the number of beans at the zeroth index pretty simple and straightforward one possibility for achieving equality case is by this formula total minus 4a let's proceed ahead this time what we are targeting we are targeting to make the first bag empty and rest of the beans in the remaining bags are pointed to b something like this this bag turns out to be empty and the remaining bags all of them point to b let me just draw a line here so that you guys don't get confused and let's try to see how much cost do we need to shell out since we are making the first bag as empty we have to shell out a units the second bag will point to b no extra cost is needed the third one will point to b you have to shell out c minus b beans similarly here you have to shell out d minus b beans so this is the second possibility let's add this together we get a plus c plus d minus 2b so a plus c 
प्लस डी माइनस टू बी एंड वॉट आई एम गॉन ए डू एल एड बी एल सो ट्रैक बी वट डू आई गेट एल गेट टोटल दिस इज टोटल माइनस थ्री बी सो दिस बिकम्स द सेकेंड पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ द आंसर लेट्स ट्राई टू लुक आउट फॉर मोर पॉसिबल ऑप्शन दिस टाइम वट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक द फर्स्ट टू बैग्स एज एम टी एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द टू लेट्स एज्यूम बोथ ऑफ देम हैव द सेम वैल्यू विच इज सी लेट्स ट्राई टू सी हाउ मच कॉज डू वी नीड टू शेल आउट फॉर दिस कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड फॉर टू मेक दिस बैग एम टी वी नीड टू गिव ए यूनिट्स ऑफ बीन्स टू मेक दिस बैग एम टी वी नीड टू गिव बी यूनिट्स ऑफ बीन्स टू मेक इट पॉइंट टू सी नो चेंज इज रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक इट पॉइंट टू सी वी हैव टू शेल आउट डी माइनस सी यूनिट ऑफ बीन्स लेट्स एड दीज टूगेदर वट डू वी गेट वी गेट ए प्लस बी प्लस डी माइनस सी सो लेट्स इक्वेट इट ए प्लस बी प्लस डी माइनस सी सो लेट्स एड सी लेट्स अट्रैक्ट सी वट डू वी गेट वी गेट टोटल माइनस टू सी इंटरेस्टिंग so the third possibility turns out to total minus 2c and let me just change the color of pen for the last iteration and this time let's assume we are trying to make all the first three bags as empty and the last one points to d something like this so the, the first three turns out to be empty and the last one is d which is again a valid configuration so how much units do we need to shell out a plus b plus c that's it and again what i'm going to do i'll add d i'll subtract d so what do i get i'll get total minus d so the last possibility turns out to be total minus d and now let's highlight what all possibilities of answers have we observed the first one was total minus 4a the second one was total minus 3b the next one was total minus 2c and the last one was total minus d can you see a pattern yes we can see a pattern the pattern is total minus the current element into consideration into n minus the current index at which that element occurs so if you iterate over all these four elements and apply this pattern it will fit in total minus 4a comma total minus 3b comma total minus 2c comma total minus d if you have understood this pattern you have understood 90% of the algorithm now comes the question you may ask that there could be other possibilities as well yes indeed there can be more possibilities but since we sorted this array only these four options we need to consider we if we consider more options beyond this then it will give us a higher or a worse result as a result of which the question boils down to identifying this pattern in the contest or as well as in interviews slightly difficult to do i'll be honest with you but if you are able to catch this formula then you are able to solve the question so let's quickly move on to the coding part and conclude the approach so here what i have done in the first row we will sort these beans up i'll create a total variable that will store the sum of all beans that are present in my beans array i have created a minimum value and initialized to long dot max one uh, here i have created the total sum of beans that exist going forward i have created a variable possible answer you, and it's equal to total minus n minus i into beans at the ith index the current element into consideration i choose the one that leads to the minimum value out of all the possible values and i simply return the minimum one that i have able to figure out pretty simple and straight forward the main crux was identifying this formula if you are able to do it you will be able to code it up the time complexity of this approach is n log n and space complexity is constant space this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question.